since 2022, there has been a rise in like the self-improvement alpha you finance see? gurus that all chat the like yo. I have no problems with self-improvement. You know, if you want to be better, if you want to be a better version of yourself, go for it. Right? Right? Go for it. But the only thing wrong with these self-improvement gurus is that they become very misogynistic. Like, very, very misogynistic. Very, very misogynistic. Like, I'll say, when, I don't know. When, when they were like, oh, I want tradition. What the fuck is he doing? Why does he look like that? He's like, he's muscular, but he got no chest. He looks like a, he looks like a little kid on steroids. Why does he look like that? All spew the same message. Wake up at 4 a.m., start a business, start working out, stop playing video games, and escape the matrix. All that jazz, Bro, right? That and these videos have- God damn, Cameron, I'm not going to lie. I ain't gonna lie, gang. I ain't gonna lie. Your barber keeps fucking you up. Every time, every video, your barber keeps fucking you up, gang. You gotta do, you gotta kill him. You have to kill your barber, bro. Like, what the fuck? Become extremely popular because of people like Andrew Tate. I, I mean, we print. all saw the method what? that he pulled in 2022. How literally the everybody Andrew was Tate posting that man's crazy. clips. And he was just saying some of the craziest things. I he am was extremely saying versed in CPR. I do know how to administer CPR. However... I will not administer CPR unless you're a hot female. And since so many people what? saw him get success from doing that method, a lot of people what? are trying to pull that same method nowadays. So now you got all these like fake, like Andrew Tate's going around. What? Yo, and it, it's I'm, I'm gonna tell you this story. I'm gonna tell you this story one last time. The last bunny rabbit a bunny rabbit is a victim and it breathes in and out so quickly you can see its stomach going in and out but what's cringier than that is that that nigga's a fucking dweeb he's a fucking geek shut up these hustle culture self-improvement like finance guru videos have leaked into the youth and now you got these kids spewing that exact same message that they're spewing in these videos when they're like 13 years old and it's one of the saddest but also cringiest things Thomas i've ever things seen ever. when you're playing video games you are literally doing absolutely nothing you're staring at a screen going into a fake world and you're not doing anything productive you're not making money you're his dad raised a fucking dweeb you're a dweeb you're a dweeb your dad raised a dweeb that's all i could say you're a fucking dweeb shut up nigga just shut up you're not starting a business, you're not doing anything, so get off the video game. That's why I stream while playing video games. Now what, nigga? Now what? Now what? And I'm monetized for it, too. Now what, nigga? Only for more tips Shut like this. Up. Bro, you are like 10 years old. Like, why? Bro, he knows nothing about the stock market, and he's trying to give me financial advice? Nah. Why do you need to be making money and have a business at 10 years old? This video is insane to me because nah, the internet crazy. has literally brainwashed kids slash teens into thinking that doing normal things that teens do is a waste of time, like playing video games, chilling with their friends, or just watching a movie or something like that. Apparently, those aren't normal things that teens do anymore. Apparently, you gotta be set with mansions, Rolexes, Lambos, and a whole business by 13 years like, old or you're a failure, Plus, which is what? actually insane. How am I supposed to have all that by 13? Bro, by 13, I don't even think I had $13. But before what? we get what any further, you? number one, YouTube, I am not trying to bully slash harass any of these teens in this video. If you're watching this video, do not get Hey guys, Rent JPG here. Did you know that 85% of you guys aren't subscribed? What are you doing right now? Click that button and don't miss out on two to three videos a week. Let's get back into the video harass any of them and no, number two geez. thank you guys for 100k subscribers I've, I've never just sat down and just said thank you to y'all i just wanted to say i appreciate every yo shout out to cameron i be in his chats i ain't gonna lie he a cool ass nigga he funny as fuck shout out to him i'm gonna go all right Ellie, one of you i have that $9. legit sit down watch my videos or maybe stand up maybe you might be standing up watching this video right here but nah, i appreciate anybody who pretty much just show support on this channel also follow his twitch i ain't gonna lie this is the only time I will promote another content creator, but follow his Twitch.
Follow his switch. He's entertaining. Watches the videos, shares them streams. with their friends. Whatever. Thank y'all. Now that being said, no, let's get back to the video. This may what be controversial, flip? but I think teens should spend at least five of their teenage years just trying to become successful. And so before you start hating in the comments, let me say this. It literally takes $82 a day to make the average yearly income in America. And online, there's literally like hundreds, maybe even thousands of courses or different models that you could use to make that money. Right now, I'm doing video editing and I own an agency, so I'm making even more than that each day. And I'm only 13 so you could easily do the same thing I find shut up nigga and go play some goddamn fortnite <laughs> just go play some fortnite like just go play some fortnite there's nothing wrong with running your own business but shut up shut up am i hating i feel like i'm hating but shut up right just no just just go play fortnite gang I find That's this video insane because this kid hasn't even lived two of his teenage years like yet he, he thinks yet. most teens should spend five of their teenage years trying to become successful that bro i spent four of my teenage years trying to become an athlete i spent four of my teenage years trying to become an athlete five of your teenage years is not worth it right right because once you get that five and you graduate and something happens you have nothing else to fall back to nothing else like it's better to have fun and network during your teenage years and do some more networking during your doing your college years like that's the best thing you could do right now especially if you're in college it literally just doesn't of course make sense that, of course this the bro motherfucker hating of course i'm hating if there's no hate in the world this world won't go around anyways hasn't experienced what he's talking about he's just talking out of his booty cheeks you know that's Something literally social media ass. hustle culture brainwash right there like i feel like the saddest part is that this kid is 13 for that too. saying this bro he was 12 last year isn't that insane think it's no different if this kid lived his teenage years then bro think about it i'm networking right now shit's paying off i'm telling you networking is the best way to grow in life <laughs> not me though i'm not i'm not a networker niggas niggas be Niggas be niggas too much, you feel me? Niggas be niggas too much. Niggas be niggas too much, you feel me? Said this, it'd make more sense because he'd have the experience to back up what he's saying. Network but with me, nigga, I do network with you. What the fuck? What do we do on a daily basis, Black? We talk, well, we don't talk to each other on Discord, you feel me? But, but we interact with each other enough, you feel me? Except for the times when you're streaming, because I be sleeping. Obviously. The fact that he didn't experience his teenage years and he's just saying this on his first teenage year, that just pretty much confirms that he's just spewing what he heard online. I just n word too much. Line from all one right. of these gurus. All right. I'm on a Sunday night. All my friends are getting drunk, getting invited to parties, and losing their virginity. Let's listen to what this dumbass little kid just said. That he's just spewing what let's he heard online this, from let's one of these to what gurus. He's saying. It's 3 a.m. on a Sunday night. All my friends are getting. Buddy, you're not old enough to drink. <laughs> shut up. Just shut up. You're not old enough to drink. Drunk, getting invited to parties and losing their virginity. The only time he seen the vagina was through the screen. What the fuck is he talking about? I spent all night working on my business. But just watch, in a couple of months, when I'm gonna be chilling in Dubai and living my dream life, you Dubai. guys are gonna call me lucky. Just watch. Number one, your friend. Dubai friends are not out drinking and losing their virginity on a sunday night everyone hates sunday because it's pretty much the prelude to monday nobody is doing anything on a sunday night except for sleeping my boy number two who Dubai are your friends losing crazy. their virginity too the hookers in gta you do not look a day over 10 and number three just because you're up at 3 a.m grinding for your business that doesn't make you better than everybody else to be fair, like the way that this man is talking even if you stay up till 3 a.m grinding for a business the chances of that business succeeding is very thin <laughs> like it's very thin unless you really dedicate all your time into that business you're not succeeding you're not succeeding like that that's how it is you you sometimes you have to drop out of school just to just to dedicate your time to a business fucking is making it seem like, like oh, i'm better than my whole class because i'm up at 3 a.m grinding when it's like bro you're not better than them just because you're doing that let's be real here it's half past three right now on a monday night i've been staying up all night working my new business but watch a few months from now when my business is taking off i'm going to be chilling in dubai living my dream life and everybody's going to call me lucky 
Just wait and see. This man literally just stole the script We're from the last kid. The only thing bar. that he did differently was add some music. Bro, at 3 a.m., I'd be beating the, I'd be choking the chicken and looking through my YouTube videos to see what I need to work on. What the fuck they, they be doing? And some like little effects and stuff like that. Other than that, this is the exact same video as the last Telling kid. Your just, girl. They just said the exact same thing. Word for word, bar for bar. No. Don't she think she's, she, she, anyways, anyways, anyways. Oh, soldier boy. Word for Shit. word, bar for bar. I hate to be that guy and say that someone else's dream is unrealistic. It's because not, I'm kind of living my dream right now. It's not unrealistic, but. It's going to take more than just a couple a couple of 3 a.m. nights. It's going to take more than that. Freaky FaceTime, ewe, nasty bitch. It's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. Like, right now, like you I know. Mean, I've always wanted to create videos on YouTube ever since I was young. And now I'm doing it. So I don't really want to hate on somebody else's dream, you know. But how in the hell are you going to move to Dubai in only a few months? That That's my question right here. Like, bro, number one, you don't even have your license. Number two, I don't even think you can put in an application to move inside of a crib, you know. Like, how is this man going to make? I mean, shit, I think at the age of 16, that's when you could apply to live on your own and you could you could live in an apartment. I don't know. I make that happen. It just doesn't make sense. Like I said, I'm not really trying to hate or my goal in this video because it's not necessarily Please these kids' it fault. It's my more of what they see away. on social media. Like if they see somebody talking about, oh, I'm about to move to Dubai in a few months, they're going to spew that same thing. But like I said, like how in the hell are you just going to randomly Dubai up and move to Dubai in just a at few the age months? Of like, 13 it, it does not work crazy. like that. This is not GTA. You can't just go on Dynasty 8 and cop a crib within two minutes. It's not like, like that. You, and you also, can't even do that. It takes a while. Well, another question is, why are these kids so obsessed with moving to Dubai? They don't say nowhere else. What about Atlantis? When I was young, I wanted to live in Atlantis. You know, I wanted to live underwater. When I was young, I wanted to live in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I don't know why, but Myrtle Beach, South Carolina was the way to go when I was young. Nah, me too, right? I, they, they used to have this commercial. Maids, Aquaman, all that stuff, bro. That was probably sick. But now we got kids saying Dubai. Like, what the heck? Why are you stressing so much? This video is crazy because this kid is stressing about his parents working at 13. Not about his parents being poor or homeless or not being able to put food on the table. He's stressing because his parents are working a stable job. Nah, I was stressing about that too. Hold on. Hold on. I like his when he vision. He is 13 years old. Something that is normal. Does that not sound crazy? Like, I, I understand like vision, that we though. all have the dream of retiring our parents, buying them a house, and buying them whatever car they desire. But I don't think that's something that you should be worried about when you're like 13 years old and you haven't even finished puberty. I feel like it's just unnecessary stress that this kid is adding to his life at a young age, all because of a finance guru he saw on social media. It is okay I if your retire parents my are mom. working a. Bro. Boy, one of my main motivations is to retire my mom. Yo, if that's not oh, it's not if that's not one of your main motivations as as an adult or as a kid who actually who actually has an income, you're doing it wrong. Like you're doing it wrong. Like, yo, if anything, just made some fruit whip. Oh, I thought you said fruit roll up. I had some flashbacks. Never mind. Anyways, if anything, right, if you ever lose motivation for what you do. Just use that as a motivation to, you feel me, to, to keep going. Stable job and they can provide for you. It doesn't seem like you in the trenches, my boy. Like, you're literally in a nice house, dog. Hey, you want to becoming a millionaire at 14? I woke up at 6.30 and went on a bike ride before taking a cold shower. Then I spent some time planning out videos and had breakfast. After this, I had some calls and checked on my Discord server before spending some time scripting. Uh -huh. Today, I made around $500, so pretty good. Finally, I edited some reels and went to bed at 10.30. Why the fuck does he have a fake American accent? That just pissed me off. That just pissed me off. Let's go back. In the trenches, my boy. Like, you're literally in a nice house, dog. Hey, one of becoming a millionaire at 14. I woke up at 6.30 and went on a bike ride before taking a cold shower. Then I spent some time planning out videos. Why did you come out the bathroom with your towel off? Not your towel off with just a robe. Yo. Yo. Why does he think that's a good idea? Hold on. I know what you are. I spent I know some what time you are. putting out videos and had breakfast. After this, I had some calls. 
This is breakfast? This is all he ate? One, two, six pieces of watermelon? La <laughs> yo! Yo! Yo, six pieces of watermelon? That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> nigga finna be hungry all day. I had some calls and checked on my Discord server before spending some time scripting. Today I made around five hundred dollars, so pretty good. Finally, all I right. edited some reels and went to bed at ten thirty. All right, edited some reels, went to bed at ten thirty. Why do you right. need to become a millionaire at fourteen years Yo, old? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. At fourteen, I thought I could hit a million subscribers. <laughs> Bro, oh, no. That's like trying to fight millennia during the tutorial in Elden Ring. Like, bro, why are you worried about that? And why is this man taking cold showers at 14? Like, what, what is the purpose? Now, we'll say the good thing out of this video is that it seems like this man has a little... Yo, at 14... Schedule going on, you know, he's going to sleep I at 10 30. He's waking up pretty early. Like, I do think that is good. But at the same time, becoming a millionaire at 14? Jesus Christ, bro. Realized school wasn't for me at a young age. Became addicted to video games. Tried to becoming a YouTuber. Didn't really work out. Didn't know what to do in my life. I was depressed. Tried making TikTok. Why you kind of look like Nor? <laughs> TikToks Yo. went viral. Nothing changed though. Realized I had to change. Still didn't change though. Finally decided it was time. Started hitting the gym. Tried drop shipping. It failed. Started to make some progress in the gym. How old is he? Gym. Started okay. my personal brand. Found okay. a law. Decided it was time to lock. Find God. Okay. In. Started my SMMA. Making progress towards okay. my. Okay. 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 This, this right here. This some real progress. This is realistic. This is Dream realistic. Life. Except for the start. Except for the start. Everybody should know school isn't, school isn't for them. Okay. What do you mean I didn't know what to do in life? You're literally a teenager. Most teenagers don't know this what they want to do in their life. That is normal. Load, that is not something that game. is only this happening is to you. That's like playing a video game and being like, oh, I don't know what to do in the game when you haven't even passed the tutorial yet. Obviously, you're not going to know what to do until you play the game more. And that game being life. The more you live life, the more you're going to know what you want to do. Like, yeah, it's I'm not just something that, that you just spawn in this world. I ain't going to lie, that's facts. I'm slowly realizing Knowing what that. you want to do. Social media is dangerous, bro. Because why like, do we have this team now? And got having games, an existential good. crisis at 13 years old. Don't you think we like should be stressing Marvel. over Best at that to age? Start, to start life, listen to college dropout. Wow. No, don't do that. Do not do that. Do is the do homework that. due on Monday. There is no need to stress about your life when you're that young. Another thing that this dude said in this video is became addicted to video games. And I'm going to make the Nigga, you are seven. Everybody was addicted to video games. The assumption that this kid probably wasn't addicted to video games. And maybe he was just a child being a child and decided to play video games to occupy his time. Because what else can children do? Obviously, some kids play video games for a long time. But I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think this dude was probably one of them. I think the problem is a lot of these hustle culture videos are meant for like an older crowd but when kids see them or like teens see them they try to apply that to their lives for example let's say like some 30 year old says i was addicted to video games at 26 but now i'm 30 years old i start taking cold showers and i'm a sigma they're gonna say that what? put that out online then a teenager is gonna see that and be like oh shoot maybe i should apply that to my life now they're what? trying to live like this 30 year old rather than just trying to live their youth like any other kid i think that's the issue here stressing at 14 so i can chill at 20. I won't say sleep. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never there was mind. another kid Never that mind. actually re- Bro, look at the house that he lives in. Hold on. Hold on. Let's let's go back to this. Let's go Being back. So I can chill let's go back point. to this edit. Look at that. Bro, he got his own area to work out at. Right? Look how his room looks. Look, look at the house he live in. He got a basketball hoop in the backyard and some more space in the backyard. Have they all on Discord? Yeah, that's how you network. Discord's the best, like, web... I say... Discord's good for networking. Look how big his room is. If I had a room that big, I wouldn't even be stressing that set 14. I'll be stressing that 18. There's another... Yo! 
My nigga, you are blessed, my nigga. Why are you stressing Kid for? Kid that actually reacted to a year ago that did this exact same thing. And I feel like the problem with this is that you're gonna burn out once you're 20 if you're stressing at 14 years old. There is no need to stress at 14 there when you're isn't. living in a nice house with a home gym. Like, I just, bro, it's really like me and Cameron, we really got like, we really got the forehead link. Like, like we really just be reading each other's minds telepathically. Like, at this point, at this point, like, there's no way, there's no way, bro, there's no way this don't make no sense. Like, this don't make no sense to me. This don't make no sense to me. Like, I just said that, like, bro. What is there to stress about? This man is just making up stress just so he can stress at that age. Day 167 of Monk Mode, 14-year-old entrepreneur. Look how, look at his kitchen. Why is he stressing for it? He need to work on his back, I ain't gonna lie. That back right there, pause. Pause, that back needs some more work. Yeah, he needs to work on his back a little more. Working on my business. Journey continues. That's the corniest thing I've ever seen. This man said school matrix. Fuck, That's the up. most Andrew Tate coded Huge thing I have ever seen blinding. in my life, All bro. Right. I'm not gonna lie, with them boxing skills, please invest. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on. I didn't even notice the boxing thing skills. I have ever seen Hold in my on. life, bro. I'm Hold not gonna on. lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Them punches are weak. Them punches look like they won't hurt nobody. Hey, with them That's boxing skills, please invest in a gun. I'm not gonna lie, them Only boxing skills are not hips. safe. Like, what? Overall, this is like, yo, that shit's it's embarrassing. just a byproduct I mean, of like, hustle 14, culture though. being so popular online. Everyone thinks that they need a Lambo by 16, when in reality, that's just unrealistic. Yo, at the age of 16, my dream car was a Tesla or a Toyota Supra. Actually, it was a Tesla and a Toyota Supra. All right, that was my dream car. And the Supra was probably gonna be heavily modified. A stove street legal, but heavily modified. I ain't like, nah. Stick. Honestly, this is a bigger Lambo issue than just self-improvement or just hustle culture itself. It's more about the impact that social media has on the younger generation. And that's not even talking just these kids who are doing like this hustle culture thing, right? Just in general, I feel like social media has impacted the youth so much. Like if a streamer says something, a bunch w of kids Riz. are gonna go out and say that same thing. If a self-improvement guru Drop says something, a bunch of people are gonna go out and say that same thing. If someone's favorite influencer Probably gonna go out and twerk like this pretty much just shows the impact of go social forward. media these are just kids seeing what they see on social media and just replicating it you know my overall point because i've been yapping a little bit obviously there are some good habits that can be taught from these self-improvement uh -huh. slash hustle culture videos but no that really isn't something assembly. that you should be worrying about when you're that young that being said this is gonna wrap up the video if you guys made it this far i appreciate you once again i appreciate you guys so much for 100k subscribers Tashi, this has been one of the craziest years of my life and i appreciate every single one of y'all for making it crazier and crazier each and every Every day i started this year off with like 20k subs and now we're standing at i think like 120k or something like that like it's pretty 20k sub one of y'all okay subscribers this has been one of the crazier 120k, 120K or crazy. something like that like it's pretty crazy Yo, congrats. once again thank you guys because y'all are literally insane i've never just sat here and said that but thank y'all twitch camera wak make sure <laughs> follow his switch entertain content for real for real entertain content Entertain content. 124K is crazy. If you guys enjoyed this video, then I highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video. It'll be right up here on the screen. All that being said.